Welcome back to Poetic Fitness. Today we got Iron Body Hit. 50-10 tempo, two times through, 10 moves. I'll go ahead and tell you the question today. Can you drive a manual or stick shifter? It's a lost art form. Let me know. Can you drive one? Do you even know what I'm talking about? Maybe you don't even drive. Maybe you fly everywhere you go. Maybe you're like a bird. Anyways, light to moderate dumbbells. Keep them nearby. If you've only got one set, that's fine. If you got a few, sprinkle them. You got 10 seconds between each move to grab what you need to switch. First move, just so you can see it, dumbbell on the right hand, standing on the right foot. It's a skater down punch. So we hop left and we reach across and then we hop back to the right. So it's just a, and you can also step as the modifier, step, down punch. Again, we hop if you can, step if not. When I click that button, five seconds until we start. There's nothing else to say except let's go. I'm gonna hit that play button. I'm gonna get my one dumbbell standing on the right foot and here we go. We hop across, we come back. We hop across, we come back. Now, you don't have to reach down as far. Do what's comfortable. I've got my other arm popping up behind me to help with my balance, but also to engage the oblique. Just control it. Not going for a million reps. So again, you can step. If you need to step, you can even do a little kick back and have a foot behind you if need be. Whatever you have to do, step and reach across, or we just keep hopping. When you start to lose your balance, that's when you really know those legs are working. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Switch hands. Now the other foot is jealous, and as usual, fix those tights if you need to. Left foot, jump into the right, down, boom, back up. You got it. Now you can pick your speed. Once you get your balance, you feel comfortable, you're welcome to pick up the pace. Otherwise, just hop away or step. Way to work. Keep breathing. And you should really feel this in the oblique on the side that you're stepping and reaching towards. Two, one, break. All right, iron inchworms. So we're in a gorilla squat. We'll walk out to one. We'll do a push up. We'll walk back to the heels. And you can do a curl if you want, or you can just walk right on back out. And you can do your push up. And you walk from the toes back to the heels. When you're sitting back in that squat, make sure you're on the heels. Don't be tiptoeing. Stay wide if you have to like this. And if you don't want to do the way, the dumbbells, you just walk out. You don't have to push up either. You pick what works for your body. Two, one, all right, here we go, here we go. Five seconds, Zotman squats. So we go down, we curl up as we squat, flip them and curl down. So it's a pivot curl and you, you switch the hands with the squat. Nice control. Like you don't want to just go curl and then stand up and drown, go down. Make sure it's a part of the movement. And as you can see, I've got a sumo squat. Very hard to keep this squared off form and keep the arms down. So we just point them out. Work that groin, work those hammies. Oh boy. Keep it running. Side view, chin up, chest out. Remember weight and heels. Elf shoes, toes to the sky. 
three, two, one, break. All right, next move is a shuffle run. So you're just, arms can stay here or they can barely move. We're just shuffling. Here we go. We're just shuffling. Get the heart rate up. Use this to pump some oxygen through. Hello, lady. We had a visitor swing through. And then she's gone. And just like that, she's gone. It's like the chupacabra or the sasquatch. You just get a quick sighting. Keep shuffling. Four, three, two, one, break. Okay, now I'm gonna go with my lighter of the dumbbells I picked. We're doing a step back kickback. So the elbows will be to the sky and in two seconds you'll step and step. So each time you're stepping, you're straightening the elbows. The elbows should be pressed to the sky. Shoulder is not moving. You're holding a golf ball between those shoulder blades and all that's moving is the elbow joint to straighten and bend. The chest is facing the ground. Knees are bent. Triceps are burning. Triceps are burning. Hiya. That's fire in them, they're sips. Them sips. Oh boy. You got this. Shoulders are burning if you're keeping them up, pointing to the sky. Two, one, break. Wowzers. That's what they say. Now we've got ropes. These we're gonna do without dumbbells. So you'll be in a little squat position. Arms are straight out like you're painting on a wall, like you're pointing two paintbrushes away. And you're just pretending like you're, you're slinging ropes. Sometimes we do this with dumbbells, sometimes we don't. If you're using the dumbbells, don't slam your fingers together. That's no bueno. Now, keep those arms moving. And what's gonna happen is you're doing basically a little pulse squat. So the legs are gonna burn. They're just barely moving because those arms are working so hard. Tighten the chest, engage all your muscles, flex the core and just keep breathing through the nose, out the mouth. Through the nose, out the mouth. You got this, five, three seconds. Two, one, way to work. Okay, quad push-up. So we're going down in basically a downward dog. Hands are on the ground. Toes are about two feet behind those wrists. We drop the knees, bring them up. Drop the knees, bring them up. So my arms aren't bending. I'm lowering the knees till they kiss the ground. And I'm going back up. If you need to modify, you just get the knees on the ground. You come up and go back down and rest. Come up, back down and rest. And that's what we do otherwise. Keep those knees off the ground. And it should start to burn. Less than 10. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we come up nice and slow. Don't get lightheaded. Get a deep breath. We've got a runner lunge, so the right foot's forward. We go knee to elbow, back into a lunge. Knee to elbow, back into a lunge. Runner lunge, once you get your balance, once you feel comfortable, you can speed it up. Constant movement. If you need to modify, you can just step back, knee up. Step back, knee up. Otherwise, get back down into that reverse lunge. Make sure you're keeping the knee over the ankle, not in front of the toes. Not in front of the toes. I'm gonna turn your direction so that I can see ya. So that I can see ya. We're looking at about five. 
four, three, two, one. And right there should just burn, burn. Okay, left foot forward now. Now, same thing, the other side. Nice control. And you do what works for your body. You don't have to do a million reps. I'm picking up the pace on this one once I get my control. But if you start to wobble, you start to bounce or fall, slow it down. Take a breath, regroup, crush. Crush. And just keep pumping oxygen into those lungs. Big deep breaths, fill those lungs up, stretch them out. It's not Lamaze. You shouldn't be hyperventilating. Control the breath. Two, one, break. You guys just destroyed that. We're going back to the top. Get your one dumbbell. Skater down punch. So we're on that right. Remember, you can step and do a little skater and step back and lift. Kind of like a curtsy or you just hop it. Turn this way a little, give you that side view. You go down, you may want to touch that other leg just to help stabilize, push you back up. Whatever you've got to do just to keep moving for the 50 seconds. You can do this move without a dumbbell if you want. Less than 10, legs should be on fire. Two, one, we switch. Now we're on the left, we're jumping right. Here we go, cross, boom, if you're stepping, you know how we do it, kind of like a curtsy, whatever works. Otherwise, support that weight on that one leg. And that is a fun, exciting move. Man, feel that in my soul, deep in my soul. Just turning for you, give you some angles. Ten seconds. You got this. Five, three. Two, nice work. Iron inchworms. So you get in that squat on the heels. On the heels, we walk out. Get your hands comfortable, push up, and walk back to the heels. Don't be on those tippity toes. Curl if you want. It's not part of the move, but it just makes, makes it feel right, so sometimes I do it. But this time I won't. Weight in the heels, butt low, chin up, chest out. Take the push up out if you don't want. You can always walk out, drop to the knees and do a push up with the knees. We got about five seconds. Three, two, one. Nice way to work. Zotman squats. Zotman squats. So get those toes out wide. And as we bring the hands upside down, we go down into that squat and we come up. Yeah. Got this. You got this. You guys got this. Just keep breathing. Pivot curls, Zotman curls, Zotman squat. Oh. 10 seconds. Five. 
three, two, one. Nice. All right, shuffle run. Again, you can move the arms if you want. Otherwise, just kind of hold them like a little T-Rex. And we're just shuffling. Catch the breath. If you've got a towel, wipe the face. Have fun with it. There's dumbbells over there. There's dumbbells over there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ten. Two, one, break. Okay, we got those ropes. Nope, we got a step back, kick back. Don't listen to me. Elbows up, pow, as high as they'll go, butt out, chin up, chest out, step. Step, keep the elbows high, step. Elbows high, elbows high. And what I mean by that is don't, don't do this. Don't bring the arm down and up. Keep that el elbows pinched, pushed like you're trying to press the ceiling away and hold the ceiling up with the elbows. Ah, oh, pick your pace here. Now, if those arms just start to, to absolutely burn, you can drop those dumbbells, keep them high, and then you're flexing, flexing. So this move is completely doable without body weight for what we're going for here is muscle endurance. We're not going for bulk. We're going for tone with a move like this. We're going for running strong. Ow, that burns. Whew. Here we go, here we go. What do we got next? We got the old ropes. Get in the squat position a little bit. Arms out, paint brushes pointing away. And Bob Ross we go. Bob Ross, happy tree. There you go. Mm-hmm. And again, the legs should just be moving barely as those arms go up and down. It's giving you that pulse squat, making those legs just burn. Oh, and then if you just dig down, flex the core, tighten the arms, tighten the chest. It's like you're just on a cow milking frenzy. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Milking those cows. Painting that picture. Three, two, one. Ooh. What do you think's next? Quad push up? Sounds good. Downward dog position. And we're dropping those knees. Boom. Dropping the knees. Dropping the knees. And go as fast as you're comfortable going. Do not hurt yourself. Pick a pace that you can go with. Just always challenge yourself. Get better each time. Oh. If your microphone wire is hanging out and almost catching on your knee, don't worry. It'll be fine. Oh, if it falls out of your pocket, don't worry. It's fine. Just keep going. Just keep going. Shoulders are burning. Remember, when you come out of this move in five seconds, don't get lightheaded. Come up slow. Two, one, drop the knees and come up slow. Sometimes you come out of a move like that too fast, you end up tipping over. Runner lunge, right foot forward. Knee to elbow, lunge. Knee to elbow, lunge. Lunge. Yeah, I don't have to say it, right? I don't have to say it. Say it, don't spray it. Push from the heel. Mr. Simpson, push from the heel. Push from the heel. Ah, uh, yeah. Way to work, keep pushing here. I know this one burns and adds up. But just fight through it, dig deep, 
three seconds. Two, one, yeah. We're gonna switch. We're switching it. Left foot. Deep breath. And you keep breathing. When you get tired, you just try to push. But you just do what you can do. Mind over matter. We got less than 10, I'm turning for you here. I'm headed your way, last move. Last three, two, one, and that right there is how you hit it. Iron body style, muscle endurance. Way to work, way to push, thanks for being here. Can you drive a manual? Do you have a manual? Do you know what a manual is? Do you even drive? Comment, let me know. Let me know how you like this one. Uh, yeah, that's it. Get some water towel off and enjoy your rest of your day or your next workout or whatever it is you're doing. Thanks for being here. <laughs>